We're in Clonus, County Monaghan, and we're going to follow the old railway up to Enniskillen. Here's how Clonus used to look. There's the old level crossing, and there's the same scene today on the Google Street View. Not much has changed apart from the absence of the trains, and that's where the trains used to go into the station. So, in my other video where I talked about uh, where I traced the line down from uh, Armagh, I traced the line down from uh, Monaghan, uh, through Monaghan, down to Clonus. We talked about how we couldn't really see into the station from here by the street view, because uh, so many walls and trees and so on are in the way, but you can actually get a good view of it from here. From further up the hill, you can see down into the station. So a lot of industrial buildings have been put in there in the meantime, but this old building looks original, judging by the brickwork and the shape of the windows. I'm guessing that was original to the old station. Must have been some sort of goods shed or something. And this is definitely original. This is the old circular uh, railway roundhouse, as you would call it. This is the old circular engine shed. So this would have had a turntable in the middle of it. And uh, let me see if I can show you what one of those things looks like. So this obviously isn't the one in uh, Clonus, but it gives you the idea. You know, you'd have a turntable in the middle, you'd roll the locomotive, rotate the locomotive around and back it into the shed. You'd have inspection pits underneath it, and mechanics could uh, work at the could work on the trains. So very impressive, still to see this piece of history still intact. I doubt very much that the old turntable is still there, but. Yeah, it's uh, good to see the old shed still there. I hope it survives, at least until we get the station reopened. If we ever were going to get this line reopened, we're going to discuss that today as well, the possibility of getting this line reopened. So let's follow it out into the fields. I think the line splits around about here. Now this is where it goes south to Cavan Town, and this is where it goes north to Enniskillen. And we'll look at a few of the crossover points. There's the abutments of the bridge still in place. I wonder if that could be recycled to get the line reopened. So the lines, uh, this looks like a private road has been built on top of the tracks. And the line, you're just tracing these visible landscape features as best we can here. Crossover point here, is there anything left of it? These blocks at the side of the road I would imagine would be all that remains of whatever uh, structure was in place here. I'm guessing there would have been great separation. There might have been a bridge over the top of this road. It looks like an embankment has been removed, actually. And this house has been built on top of the tracks. Very irritating when you start tracing these railway lines and you see the short-sighted planning decisions, planning permission granted to build railways on top, or build houses on top of old railways. We're coming into Newton Butler here, and there was a station in Newton Butler Let's see if we can find any evidence of the old station. So the line came through here, and there might still be some evidence of the railway. Uh, maybe not. Not here, anyway. I do believe it's in here somewhere. There's a housing development here called Railway Crescent. And I think that's, yeah, this is it. There's the old station building. There's the platform. There's where the people used to wait for their trains. Down to Cavan or up to Enniskillen. Or down to Clonus or up to Enniskillen. So when this photo was taken when 2009, it looks like a bit of scaffolding is up here. So I hope someone's taken care of this building. And uh, here's how it used to look back in the day. When the trains were actually running. There's the level crossing gates. A few old photos of Newton Butler. It must have been a pretty busy little junction, actually. It's got a signal cabin and everything here. So it looks like trains would have stopped on either side of the station building, which is interesting. So getting the line reopened through here would be a bit of a challenge now because of these, again, these short-sighted planning decisions. Might have to divert the line around the town a little bit, get a new station open somewhere around here. And then any future development would have to be around around the station. So as the village grows and develops, it would 
I would hope, grow in this direction, grow around the railway, so the railway station doesn't stay marooned up in the middle of nowhere for all time. Let's keep following the line up through the fields. Crossover point here. Is there anything left of the railway? We have an embankment through the fields. And I was going to say someone's built a house here, but I've seen this style of house before elsewhere on the um, on the Randallstown Tomb Railway. There's a little house that looks a little bit like this right beside the railway. So I'm guessing this might have been a... I don't think it was a station, but it could have been a, a crossing keeper's hut. It's been repurposed as a house. Let's keep following our hedges. The landscape features very clear to see here. There's another farm built on top of the tracks. Looks like something built on top of the tracks here again. There's more houses built on top of the railway. Why do we do this? Why do we allow this? I'm not going to look at all these crossing points. I'll let you do that in your own time. Okay, where are we getting into now? Is this Listener Ski? Yeah, this is Listener Ski. Okay. So, Listener Ski is a funny shaped place, actually, isn't it? It's, it's like a figure of eight. And the station in Listener Ski, I think, was somewhere about here. And uh, this is the closest I could get to a, a photo of the, the old Listener Ski station. I had a hard time finding any photos of it, so. If you have any photos of the station, do let me know. But I think the station was around here. Look at that, there's a little. There's always a little close to an old railway station. You ever notice that? A little must know something. Okay, so I think the trains came along here. Notice how this wall isn't aligned with the road. It's aligned with what used to be the old railway. So the station would have been roughly around here. So this gap in the wall would have been an entrance to the station. Uh, it's very hard to say. I'd love to get a look over this wall sometime, see is there anything left of the platforms. There might be something left of them, but I can't really see it from here. And according to this photo, which was taken in 2011, it looks like it's reasonably clear. So we might actually, to get this line reopened, we have a reasonably clear path here. Through this and ski. The only issue is this roundabout here. I might have to dig a trench and then put the roundabout on top of it. But uh, yeah, that should be doable. There's always a little where there used to be a train station, because little, I think, wants to be close to the center of town. Railway stations were always in very convenient locations, very easy to walk to from the center of town. And I think little has a similar philosophy, which is why they're so prominent where the old railways used to be. That's my theory, anyway. Here's Maguire's Bridge, crossover point here. There's another little long building. Could have been a station uh, crossing keeper's hut. And there's the platform, still visible. Fantastic. Couldn't find any photos of the, the old station in Maguire's Bridge. Um, now as regards getting this line reopened, again, there was some short-sighted planning here. So some houses have been built on top of the tracks. I wonder would it be possible to tunnel underneath people's gardens maybe, do a cut and cover job, get the line underneath, run a trench through here and then uh, put a lid on it and uh, replant the people's gardens. I don't know if you could dig a trench that close to people's homes or not, might interfere with the foundations. So again this is another, thanks to short-sighted planning, we might have to make alternative arrangements here to get the railway back in Maguire's Bridge. It's they have not made it easy for us, to be honest. Now we get running up on a line like this, close to the centre of town as possible, without being too disruptive. I don't know. Challenging but achievable. We should be able to get that line reopened though. And I think this A4 Belfast Road, I have a funny feeling that was built on top of the tracks. Maguire's Bridge, Lisbala. Yeah, 
Belfast River. That was built on top of the, the railway. So getting this line reopened would involve rebuilding the road, I would say. I would say you could, um, yeah, if Lisbalaw was ever to get a bypass, that would be an opportunity to convert this road back to railway use. Uh, let's see if we can find the station. There's, this is where the station was, and there's kind of depressingly little left of it. It's just a lonely old layby at the side of the road now. Kind of sad, really. It's a shame there's no evidence was ever retained of what that station looked like. There's how it used to look. Much nicer, in my opinion. That's how it looked shortly after the line was closed, judging by the grass growing up through the tracks there. All right, let's keep following the line through Lisbala. And then it parts ways with the road around about here and goes out into the fields. Uh, let me consult my rail map tool, see where exactly it went. Belfast Road, okay. Diverts off here. And I think this is the railway, here it is. Yeah, still visible. Little crossing points here might be worth looking at. Again, more houses built on top of the tracks. It only takes one person to build a house on top of the tracks to make life very difficult for the people trying to get the railway reopened. Okay, we're coming into Enniskillen here. Now, this is where it starts to get even messier. But I looked at this earlier and I really think it is achievable. Despite how built up it looks, we should be able to get this line reopened into Enniskillen again. First of all, it goes under people's gardens here. So in theory, you, know, you could go below grade, tunnel underneath it. And then the line went under these people's gardens and under, under this housing development. And then parted ways with the road went around like this in a curve. There's a little again, very close to where the station was. The station in Enniskillen, I think, was about here, in the car park, outside Little. Let's take a look at it on the historic rail map tool. There's how the line curved around. So it curves around here, and then continues up to Enniskillen. And then this other line on the other railway, this went south, down into Sligo, Galway, etc. I'm interested in this one here. So we'll probably go as far as here for today. So let's trace it. The station, I'm going to look at the, the, just to show you how little is left of it. There's where the station used to be, in here somewhere. They didn't really leave a whole lot of, of evidence of the station. I think it was on the other side of this, this embankment here. So the trains would have gone down here, turned right, and they would have gone up the side of a road. Yeah, around the back a little. And I think the line would have run alongside this road. So this is a suspiciously wide road here. So when the people were building this road, they had more space than they knew what to do with, and you can tell. So they're using it for you know, a left turn lane, bus stop, big wide footpath. This is where the trains used to run, I believe. This is the track bed. And I see there plenty of room for getting a railway restored. I don't think this line, this road needs to be as wide as it is. Look at this ground here, not doing a whole lot. Not very productive. We could easily get the, the train tracks relayed there. And then it goes around behind this uh, this hall, Gospel Hall, I think. Yeah, and on it goes up towards Oma. So getting up through here would be tricky, but I'm gonna deal with that in a separate video. I'm gonna connect Oma and Enniskillen in a different video. But that's where the trains used to go, and there's some great photos of the old railway in, uh, on this web page. I'm gonna call Air Trains. I'm gonna give you a link in the description. 
So this is the old Enniskillen station, and this is the same view more recently. So this shed on the left is the same as this shed on the left. So you're looking at roughly the same view here. And you can see how little has been left, and how little has been built on top of it as well. A few more old photos. So I'll let you look at them in your own time. There's the railway hotel. That's the last railway-related building, really, that's left in Enniskillen. Some artifacts from the railway. Uh, these retaining walls by Little, apparently these are reconstituted from the old bridges, the old overpasses. And I believe this is still intact, somewhere on the road. It's, it's about here somewhere. Yeah, there it is. So the trains must have come around here. I don't know if they came on, if they were on top of this or if they came along beside it. Not entirely sure. Maybe you can let me know in the comments. Did the trains roll along here or up this hill? I'm guessing they came along here. So getting through Enniskillen, you know, when I first looked at it, I was a bit horrified about how developed it has been since the railway was there. But on closer inspection, you know, there's a lot of open space here. This is wide open. These houses here present a bit of a challenge. I wonder if we could move the road or something. Should be able to make some sort of arrangement and get this line reopened. Because we could get Enniskillen reconnected to the railway network. That would be fantastic. And that would restore a vital part of the missing railway network that we lost in Ireland in the northwest in the 1950s. The station was closed in 1957, I think. Look how comprehensive that network was. So from Enniskillen, you could go potentially up to Oma, down to Clonus. Two different ways of getting to Portadown. You could go by Oma or by Clonus. There's the other line from uh, to Bundoran. Definitely some potential for reopenings there. So some houses have been built on the tracks. Definitely there are challenges, but I don't think it's impossible to get that line reopened.